This is called Silent Night, Holy Night. After the divorce, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a holiday poem. Let, let, Silent Night, Holy Night, right? Holiday poem? Let me start again. Silent Night, Holy Night. After the divorce, <laughs> the time came to put the tree into the stand. I had to find the stand. It was in the garage, finally. The trunk of the tree was wide, the stand's circumference not so. Wait, there's a flat saw in the small closet behind the kitchen. I pulled the tree by its trunk up ten stone steps across the brick courtyard, through the doorway, into the living room. The saw's blade too fragile, unable to break through bark. I remember, yes, a chainsaw in the boiler room. <laughs> I always knew I would use it. An inner nudge that never materialized into fantasy. Now I head straight down the stairs, the saw inaudible on the floor behind an old wicker chair and an electric cord, the color orange, the length of a city block. In the living room, I plug the prong into the socket, place a piece of wood underneath the tree. I am no fool. I'll aim the cutting away. I want everyone to know what happens next and I can't say it. There is something about being inside the house with the sound of a chainsaw spinning while sweet smell chips and dust start flying all directions. Sofa pictures, table, hitting windows, sawdust settling, comfortable as I am where I cook clean, where I eat and read, something about how no one else in the entire county, the northwest corner of my world, this world, knows what the fuck I'm doing, how I'm the only one left to clean up the debris. Thank you. <laughs>